Complex and this is the second episode of Model Development Commentary and the series had quite a good feedback so I'm not stopping it I just didn't have time to record videos for the whole week but I'm recording it now and the mod I chose is Experience on Death Mod but before we start let me just quickly tell you what this series is going to, is going to be about and then a little change that I have planned and it's gonna be in this episode already so in this series I'm gonna pick a mod usually from your comments you can suggest me a mod that you want to see next and first I'll show you each aspect of the mod everything that the mod contains plus some challenges that I had to solve I'll go through when I was programming it and also our thoughts because if you if you watch the minimal series we had like a mod that give, gave you a mob catcher enchantment which was basically a way of getting mob eggs and it with slimes it was kind of overpowered so this is something that we had to think about on how to solve our if we are gonna do something about it so I'm gonna tell you also stuff like that and why we chose the mod or if it's not a mini mod then why I like the mod or what I expect from it in the future if I plan some updates and the change I'm planning is that in these in next two episodes in this one and episode 3 I'm gonna show you a little like tricks that you can use to make your modding experience a bit better it's just gonna be some short tips or maybe a little bit longer because this mod is really simple so I can have a little bit more time to show you the trick and I know not a lot of you are probably interested in programming so what I wanted to do to make the series a little bit better or just put there something more that would more attract like non-programmers people that who are not interested in Java or modern Minecraft or programming in general so I'm gonna answer your questions since episode 4 so if you have any questions about Minecraft even about modding or me or programming in general anything just ask me in the comments or uh, send me a tweet I have my Twitter in the description and I'm gonna start answering those since episode 4 but let's go to the mod and the mod is really simple but really useful it basically when you die you lose only 30% of your experience so if I give myself 5000 experience and I kill myself then I have 50 levels now and you might notice that 70% from uh, 57 levels is not 50 but I give myself 5000 experience and 70% from that is 3500 so if I go into a new world just to prove that it works and I give myself 3500 experience it's gonna give me the amount that I had after death and there's also a little change in multiplayer that you still lose 30% of your XP but you also drop 15% if there's like PvP enabled so if someone kills you they have some XP from you which is one point of killing maybe even though it doesn't give you too much experience because when you die you usually lose a lot you can get back about five levels and a half which didn't seem to be too fair to us so this is the reason why we chose this mini mod that is actually really useful and it gives you a little bit of like balance 
so let's go to Eclipse now and I'm gonna show you the code which is really simple and then I'm gonna show you the trick I have planned for this episode so I'm in Eclipse now and as you can see the mod is really simple there are just three changes in the multiplayer version and I'm gonna show you the multiplayer version first because the single player version is not kind of well I guess I have enough time to show that too but there's it's a little bit different because I was making it it was like one of the first mini mods and I didn't make it compatible with the LAN world so it might not work so I would preferably show you the multiplayer version and this basically when you die it recreates you the server completely destroys you and then makes a new player it's just it's, it's like reincarnation but you're still the same yeah so here I save the experience from the old player and here I just make I just add the experience to the new player and this is just to make 70% of it and here in entity living where the death gets handled I drop 15% of the XP you have and that is basically it there's not more to the server version to it but here in the in the client version this line is to make it compatible with Optifine because otherwise if you change entity living if you, if you want to make the mod compatible with Optifine and you change entity living then you have to put there this line I'm not sure if it's gonna work with random mo random mobs anymore but this otherwise it would crash and this is basic this line is basically in every mod that I made and that changes entity living so it is compatible with Optifine and this is for saving the experience data in the constructor I check if you are the player and if it's on a single player and this is because as I said I was making it in 1.2.5 so this doesn't work with the LAN world probably at least not if two people are both dead at the same time or I'm not even sure how mods work when one player has a mod and one player doesn't but I guess it's like it's the same as on servers if you don't have the mod but the server has so here I just load the experience back and then reset the variable and it's it's a really simple mod that's not there's not really much into it so let's just I'm gonna show you the trick and it's more of like a common knowledge but well it's it's more mostly usable in modding minecraft and if you are starting with modding this is something that you should use and when you change anything you basically do slash slash for a comment and then put change it's time to end and I can change anything I want here I can change any existing code and I, I do this because when I update the mod or when I make a multiplayer version of it I need to know exactly what I changed so this is one thing I do when I want to know which what stuff I changed and if I change just one line I do this I put changed line at the end so I don't take too much space because I'm I don't like waste, wasting space with making new lines and stuff when I can just put this there and if I want to delete something then I do slash star which is a multi-line comment I put there changed or deleted stuff and this just 
close it completely okay and I want to know what I deleted so I just comment it I leave it there but it doesn't get executed if it's commented and don't worry about people that would decompile your mod because when you compile it the comments are basically destroyed so now how to find it you basically press ctrl H and go to file search and as you can see I already have it here a slash a, a question mark which is any character so it find both slash and star and then I, then I just put there change because it can be anything it can be change stuff change line or just change so I'm, ju I'm just gonna make sure it finds everything and in the file name patterns the star means anything or if you want to have any java files you put there st uh, star dot java but there's not really need to because in the minecraft project files there's only java files so when i do this it's gonna find all of those changes and I can just double click and it's gonna get me to them and it just using this makes searching for your changes and then updating your mod much much easier because you don't have to go through each line searching for changes you just do a file search there was more of like a common knowledge like, but if you don't know that it could be useful so this was the second episode of mod development commentary send a comment on your feedback and a mod that you want to see next and possibly a question if you have some or even more questions also I'd really appreciate it if you rated the video because it gives me a lot of motivation and if you want to know everything about my mods update and stuff like that then follow me on twitter i got link in the description also if you want to see more videos more mod development commentary or i get a new video in my head it's gonna be absolutely crazy then subscribe to my channel so that's all for this episode thanks for watching and see you later